Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I think everybody can tell that we have a special guest with us today. I'd like to request respected national Amir Saab to do the introduction. Respected guests, dear members of the Jamaat, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, may peace and blessings of God be upon all you. It is my great honor and privilege to introduce a great friend of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat. The Honorable Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, has been a dear friend of the Jamaat. He has been a friend even before he got into office, and of course while serving in this uh, present highest office. Prime Minister Trudeau, we thank you for the care you have shown to our community. We appreciate your upholding the principles of human rights, religious freedoms, dignity of life, and especially your freedom of speech remarks. His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masood Ahmad, may Allah be his helper, the supreme head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, appreciated your comments on the use of freedom of expression and speech when you said, and I quote your words, but freedom of expression is not without limits. And we owe it to ourselves to act with respect for others and to seek not to arbitrarily or unnecessarily injure those with whom we are sharing a society and a planet. And you also said, in a pluralist diverse and respectful society like ours, we owe it to ourselves to be aware of the impact of our words, of our actions on others, particularly these communities and populations which still experience a great deal of discrimination." End of quote. You are the only Western leader to make these bold remarks. You are the only Western leader to make these bold remarks. You have provided a framework of what it means to be a caring, compassionate, and considerate human. You have further defined the character of Canadians. And for this, we are grateful to you. May Allah give you the ability to carry out your good work and plan for the betterment of Canadians and Canada, the greatest country on earth. As Muslims, we are taught to cooperate in all things good. So we, Ahmadi Muslims of Canada, offer our services to you and to Canada in your good plans. My dear Jalsa attendees, members of the Jamaat, please welcome the right Honorable Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, my friends. After being apart for two years, isn't it wonderful to all be gathering together for the Jalsa Salama? Salat Salana. Uh, thank you for having me, Lal Khan Malik, uh, and thank you all for inviting me back once again to celebrate with you. Je suis très heureux d'être accompagné de nombreux membres de notre équipe, dont les ministres Omar Al Khabra et Ahmed Hussein. On est ici aujourd'hui pour soutenir la communauté Ahmadiyya comme on l'a toujours fait. The Ahmadiyya community is an important part of helping us build a strong, diverse Canada. I know so many of you are community-minded and have therefore been there for each other and for your fellow Canadians throughout these difficult past two years. You all know well that what you do as an individual matters and serves the well-being of the entire community and, indeed, the entire country. In Calgary, Amadea Youth launched the Neighborhood Helper Campaign 
and delivered groceries and prescriptions to those throughout the city. Many of you were on the front lines as healthcare workers and essential workers. So many of you were involved in community organizations and community leadership to help Canadians be there for Canadians alongside you through this pandemic. And of course, so many of you got your vaccine and your booster shots to protect yourself and others, because that's how we could get through this pandemic as we have. La pandémie nous a montré que les Canadiens sont là les uns pour les autres, mais la pandémie a aussi été une épreuve très difficile. As much as we were there for each other as Canadians, it was also a very difficult time. And on top of that, we've seen a rise, an unfortunate rise in hatred and intolerance, particularly of Islamophobia these past few years. See, when families are afraid to go out for a walk in the evening in their neighborhood, or mosques are getting vandalized, that's unacceptable. An attack on a Muslim Canadian is an attack on all Canadians. And intolerance and hatred undermines everything that we have built in this country, and mostly everything that we continue to build. So we have to continually step up and do more as a country. Canada is a place of openness and respect, and we need to keep it that way. Hatred and intimidation should have no place here. Everyone needs to be free to pray how they want and be who they want. The promise of Canada is a promise of respect, of hope, and of freedom. And that's what we gather here for, and that's what you dedicate your lives to. C'est important que les dirigeants et les gouvernements continuent d'agir pour protéger les droits fondamentaux de tous les Canadiens. Our responsibilities as community members, as community leaders, as political leaders, is always to be there to build a better society, a better world in which respect for each other, openness to each other, and partnership in building a better future is what drives us. And I can think of no community that better embodies the very values that Canada aspires to than the Ahmadiyya community. Love for all, hatred for none. It's something that every Canadian wants to see for our country. But this community doesn't just aspire to it. It lives it every day. And for that, I am so deeply grateful to be able to thank you today for everything you do. Our government has invested in a new anti-racism strategy and a national action plan on combating hate. This includes funding for grassroots organizations that are fighting racism, intolerance and Islamophobia in communities across the country. We're also in the process of appointing Canada's very first special representative on combating Islamophobia. They will serve as an expert advisor to the government on how we can combat Islamophobia, religious intolerance, racial discrimination, and more. And they will step up in ways to address barriers facing Muslim communities here in Canada. We know that we all have work to do. But Canada is a country that didn't happen by accident and won't continue without effort, without continually stepping up of each and every one of us to build better communities, to build a better future, to build better opportunities for our neighbors. By working together, we can and we will build a stronger, 
fairer, more inclusive Canada. So I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful weekend. May peace and blessings be upon you. Merci, mes amis. Thank you. Canada!